Let's level at L10. Are you ready? Let's get started. The device can be positioned on the tripod or hold comfortably in hand. The device has three main components which is the receiver, microphone, LCD display screen and also the control panel. First, power the meter on by pressing the green button. Then, select the weightage frequency either A or C which you see. Next, select the desired time response, fast or slow we choose fast. After that, we can choose either to use LEQ, SPL or SPL. We choose SPL. Then choose either to use max, min or ins, which we can choose max. We also can adjust the date and time of the study by adjusting the up and down button on the control panel. And also adjust the time interval by by pressing the up and down button. You can see the time interval display on the screen and you may start to record the sound level. Because we press the max, therefore the sound level meter only display the maximum reading of the traffic. But if we change to the mean by pressing the max, mean and ins button, it will show the lowest sound level within the specified time. We also can change to ins, where the screen will display the instantaneous sound level within the time. This study is conducted for 30 minutes at 30 second time interval. Therefore, at the end of 30 seconds, write down the sound level and press the play button again. This sound level meter can be set at auto range which is between 30 to 130 or can be changed manually. Although we set the range, this device could capture over and under the range. Let's move to the data and analysis. You can have 60 data for half an hour study. Then, tabulate into the frequency table in order to plot the S-curve. You can determine the L10 from the S-curve, which at 90%. Then, plot the frequency trend and label the L10 on the graph. Thank you.